All right, today is the day. We are here at step number one in the Arte Supercar project. And that step is to build a small scale model that we can test some design ideas and to use that scale model into enlarging to a full scale model or a buck or plug, whatever you want to call it, and that we'll be using to uh, make our body panels out of. To do that small scale model, we're going to use some of this uh, oil based clay that doesn't harden up. And that way we can add and subtract to our model until we get exactly what we're after. So let's go take a look at how we did that. So all we really need to do to start off is just come up with some basic dimensions to build our model. Um, I've gone into AutoCAD and created these elevations, show you some dimensions here. And what we're really, really for is to get some height and the width and length, of course, and then a wheelbase and the wheel diameter. And then if you know your drive chain components and what your glass is going to be, of course, that's going to be a big help as well. And we're going to take those and convert that to a clay model. But instead of going straight to clay, I'm going to cut this foam just to occupy the volume of the interior of the model. Um, other, otherwise, you've got so much clay that you're trying to work with that it's just a little price savings and a little easier to start your shape right off. So I just created a bigger block by gluing two pieces together. And um, this is just styrene insulation from a big box store, Lowe's or Home Depot, used for insulation. Cut easily with a regular cross cut wood saw. And then once you get the basic main cuts, you can go to other tools, a small knife or a rasp that you'll see here in just a moment. Now the dimensions that we've created before, we can just translate to this model at scale. And then we also need to reduce that by about a quarter of an inch. That quarter of an inch of course is gonna be the space that the clay occupies. So our foam model, about a quarter inch smaller than what we really want and then we'll start putting clay on it. Like I say, almost any little sharp tool works in working with this foam and we're not trying to re achieve any kind of a finish at all. We're just trying to get a basic shape to take up the interior of our clay model. One thing you can think about as you're doing this is uh, Wheels. If you can come up with a, a can, a lid for a spray paint can, anything that equals the volume or the dimensions of your wheels in scale, that's going to help as well. You can use it as a template to cut your foam out and also use it to uh, put your clay around to create your wheel wells. This rasp, of course, all the more finish you need, just a rough. Cut, basic shape, and we have it. There you go. Now, of course, I've uh, enlisted the help of a friend here who came by, wanted to be involved somehow, and so we're putting some of that clay onto our foam model. You get the clay warm just by working in your hands. You can throw it in the microwave, but get it softened up and just start pasting it to your foam model. Building up a uh, quarter to half an inch thick, course we're going to work it down. The beauty of this oil-based uh, plastiline clays is that you can add to it, subtract. Tools at an art supply store or you can make a tool like this out of a pounding a piece of wire flat. This course and this tool is a lot bigger and not one you're going to create easily yourself. But you can get these kind of tools at an art supply store for just sculpting. And it's just a matter of uh, scraping the clay down you want to add some on, add it back on. You don't need to make your model symmetrical. In fact, you can try a feature on one side of the car, try something different on the other side. And then when you get something you really like, you keep that side of the car. And you'll see in the next steps that it doesn't matter that symmetry doesn't have to be created on both sides of the model. Once it's created on one, you're going to be able to capture that in the next step. So here it is, just finishing it down. I said scraping, adding something on if you create too much of a cut, and then you're done. 
And here we have it is. Just a rough version, but done.